Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to keep working on my jaw crusher for my gold mine. Today, I will work on turning a cam into the main shaft for, for the movable jaw. So, I feel that's going to be a pretty big project. I wanted to break it out into its own little segment. So, um, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is... I want to get some V blocks and set the shaft in that, and then we'll use our our height micrometer there to to relocate the center. So we'll get this. I have that scribe mark in there. Yep. So I've got the center here that identifies the this line identifies the center. And I'll transfer this line here onto this end. All right. Okay. So I have this lined on each end uh, vertical now and perfectly with the square use the machining square and against this you know piece of half inch plate tabletop we'll come across here and we will scribe and we'll scratch a line there now I'll get a center punch and we'll center punch those uh, make them bold and then I'll figure out some method to uh, to center drill them. So that's my next problem solving situation is to figure out how to center drill this at these locations. Okay, so what I've done is, is I've checked this shaft up in here with the, put my tailstock in um, with the live center that's like pointing at my spot. And I've shimmed here on the, on the three jaw chuck and messed around with this for quite some time until as it spins around, it's pointing exactly at the uh, the location where I need to drill. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and change and put a Jacob's Chuck in my tailstock and come in and uh, and drill this. Well, I think I'm ready to go ahead and attempt this. I'll put a spot of oil on my bit, and some on the end here. Kick this. Out. Tiny will come in really slow. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I have a really nice center drill mark here. That's going to allow us to turn this between centers. I'll get one put in the other end. Um, and it's, it's going to have enough grab for sure to hang on nice. So I'll go ahead and flip this around and we'll do the same thing with the other end. Okay, we're gonna put the live center in here. I got that. We'll just crank this right here into the tail stock. And we'll scoochie this up a little bit here. We're gonna. Now, I'm still not happy about this setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna turn a I'm gonna turn flat on this side, um, take the take the cam, the lobe out of it um, on the end here enough to get this turned around and then held by the jaw and finish finish turning this here hole side down and then I'll flip it back around and we'll get this side so that's what I'm going to do okay so we're closing on the last pass here thought I'd bring you in and show you finishing it up it's just barely touching in there um, where it's round and so I think what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and switch this end for end and turn the other side and we'll turn it in its entirety. I'm going to have to leave a shoulder here and I'll leave a shoulder there. Okay, so I finished up my shaft here. It uh, it turned out pretty good. I had to file a little bit down on one of these bearings to surfaces here to make the bearing fit, and uh, I think things are going to work out pretty good for, for for this. The keyway here turned out really nicely. 
So the next thing that I need to do is go ahead and assemble all of this. Um, and what I've discovered is that while I was welding this, I shrunk it slightly. So a bearing won't on this side won't quite fall in there. It's going to be an interference fit. So I've got one sitting in the freezer right now. This one here goes in the other side just perfect. And so we're going to go ahead and um, use a propane torch to heat this up a little bit and then we'll we'll drop our, our bearing out of the freezer in there to make it fit perfect. I've got this heated up to about 150 with my little laser gun here. 150 there, 145. So I'm going to try it. This uh, bearing just came out of the freezer. Okay. Here we go, we'll see if it goes in or not. Magic. and give these a snug up all the way around. Okay, laid it on a couple of these and we'll give her a little wiggle there. So it'll turn this way, crush it down down just a little bit of wiggle okay then we're gonna go ahead and put the flywheel right on there all right well that contraption is starting to get heavy okay so that's gonna be it for this video in the next one I will build the main frame um, try and figure out how to get the toggle attached in there build a yoke to and a spring to retain that up against the main frame um, I'll work at some of those types of components and then it'll kind of probably look like a crusher. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Looks like it's going to work pretty good.